school. I was gonna take a pregnancy test. Oh my god! Hello? Forgot we had that like neighborhood brawl thing on. Oh my god. The, that neighborhood action plan, the rough housing one or something. Not good. Ah! That's not good either! <laughs> Oh no. Last part, I decided I wanted to get married and like now because we're trying to play a legacy challenge and my sim is about to become an adult and we need to like get married and start having kids as fast as possible because we're running out of time, which isn't true. We still have her entire adulthood, but like I would prefer she not die when her kids are still young. So we got to get a move on and we're playing on short lifespan. So we really got to get a move on. And all of a sudden it was the romance festival. And so I brought Dylan Lemons here. We've spent too much time invested into Dylan Lemons. He might hate children. He might be non-committal. But you know what? Again, all our eggs are in one basket, and that basket is right here in front of us. <laughs> So I'm trying really hard to make him love me. I'd like to have her at least- What are you screaming about? Olivia. Olivia. Okay, well, anyway, I'd like to at least have them start dating. First kiss. Oh my god. How is that gonna go? <gasps> you can see Olivia screaming in the background. That's actually really funny. Well, <laughs> we did our best. Will you be my boyfriend yet? I know you're non-committal, but I at least- We at least need to be dating. I mean, I need some level of commitment from you here. What? Where are you going? Don't leave. Don't leave. Come back. You can't leave. It's a steamy exchange. Wait, has to be boyfriend. Okay, here we go. Come on, give me some commitment here. There we go. I'm not gonna have them try and get married or anything right now. I feel like we don't need to move that fast. I mean, we could always like start having kids or something for fun if we wanted to. <laughs> Do you know what? What if? Now this is a bad, this is a bad idea. But what if we had a woohoo bush? Do you know, I've got um a mod in my game. Let me see what my risky woohoo is set at. Woohoo pregnancy, risky woohoo percent. 25! Oh, I was gonna put it at 10. <laughs> Imagine I hadn't noticed I had risky woohoo at 25% and we <laughs> and we woohooed. Oh, this means she's got a 25% chance of getting pregnant from normal woohoo. You know what? Let's let's take our chances. Let's see what happens. Woohoo in the bush. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this so much when she gets pregnant and then all of a sudden I have to like expand my house and have space for a baby and like we're, we're doomed. We're doomed to say the least. No, the bush is all stinky because of you. Are you happy? Do you know what I should do? Oh, we should ask the guru about our current relationship. I want to know what he says what he thinks our future holds for us, because this is actually probably pretty important. <laughs> Guru, please. What's what's in store for me <laughs> and my non-committal hates children boyfriend? <laughs> oh, a match made to last the ages? <laughs> well, that's news to me, okay. Well, I mean, if you think we're gonna last the ages, then we're gonna last the ages. I'm just gonna harvest all these things while I'm here, by the way, because then I can sell them for money, because I really need more money. 900 simoleons from that? Okay, I'm not complaining. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go home so that we can save money on not eating out because I'm trying to buy a house and I might be pregnant So we need to like, you know, play our cards pretty safely here. Look at how sad our house look look, look at everybody else's houses and then look at ours <laughs> We'll get a bigger house someday. It's a work in progress. We're not quite there yet is all. Oh, should I ever take a pregnancy test just to see? I think we should. Oh, we're not pregnant. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, that could have been bad. All right, let's go to sleep. Tomorrow, we really need to work on our fitness skills. So honestly, we don't even need to go to the gym. We could just do it right here. I could probably buy us some more gym equipment. Oh, speaking of which, oh, all my plants are out of season, it looks like. Honestly, I don't need these plants. I'm just gonna get rid of them. I can't be bothered to deal with like gardening and everything else that I'm trying to do. Let's get rid of the plants. Let's buy a TV. It's kind of expensive, but I feel like it's worth- No, you know what? Should we save up for the better one? It's $25.95, but I feel like that won't be that hard for us to achieve. Now it's summer and we're gonna die in the heat. <laughs> it's a disaster. Oh, I didn't have her eat dinner last night either. I'm sorry. I'm really kind of failing you right now. You don't deserve this. Oh, Miriam, thank you. You know what? This is a good friend. She knows about our relationship. She's congratulating us. I mean, that's that's what we need. People who lift us up. She's too dirty to, to work out. And so now she's gonna go shower and then work out again and just get dirty again. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Would you look who it is? It's Dylan Lemons. Suave kiss. Okay. Propose? I feel really tempted to propose to him, but I don't think that I should. You know, we don't have any landscaping right now. What if we got a, a nice bush for the front yard? What if we invested in a nice bush? Oh no, <laughs> Miriam's here, she saw. 
Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, and my cat's here. My cat saw. She jumped up and then straight back down. I don't blame her. You don't want anything to do with what's going on right now. I need to keep working out. She needs to get her fitness, like, workout task all the way done. Having the micro home is really helpful. Like, gaining skills twice as fast. The renegades? No. <laughs> I'm busy. I don't want to join the renegades. Is that Bob Pancakes? Do you want a date? Sorry, I have a boyfriend. I need to stop. I need to stop. I have a boyfriend. No, Bob Pancakes does not want a date. Oh, I forgot to vote on the neighborhood action plans. I don't want water conservation. I want... I'll vote for rock your body and mind. I'll spend a bunch of points on it so that hopefully don't we don't get anything bad. Why are all these people at my house? <laughs> Where did you all come from? I just sit here breeding frogs all day, trying to get money. Oh my god, I forgot that I just woohooed. She might be pregnant for real this time. We're really like, <laughs> I was trying to get her fun up by woohooing with him, but we're really uh, messing with our chances. We are messing with fate by woohooing at 25% risky woohoo. That is not being safe. We need to learn how to be safe. I might have her take a pregnancy test. I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's going now. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna sell all these things for more money because I'm gonna have to buy a kid's room. That's the thing with these legacy challenges. I don't know why I'm even bothering to like upgrade my house because every time I upgrade, I have to upgrade again. Each time we do something fun, it's ju just do it again. <laughs> Did you dig around in my trash, Bob Pancakes? That's really quite rude. Do you know what? We have about 2,000 simoleons. I hate to like ruin our micro home vibes, but I feel like it might be worthwhile to upgrade the house a little bit more just to have a bedroom. I mean, you know that I'm right. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know that it's true. I feel like it might be, even if the kids room was like this big, like genuinely, even if it was like the teeniest, tiniest, like most itty bitty kids room you've ever seen. Well, we can make it like a little bit bigger. Why does the kids have such a nice room? It's kind of unfair. <laughs> Look at my house. <laughs> it's so ugly. It's like genuinely ugly though. Like I'm not even kidding. It like actually looks bad. It's okay. We're not a micro home anymore. So we can afford to like have a little, what if we had a big porch? Like what if we had like a little, you know, that'd be nice. I'm like acting preemptively. We don't even know if she's gonna have another kid or not, but I'm like, I'm, I'm so concerned about it that I'm like preemptively upgrading the house. This concern is valid and you know that it is. <laughs> You'd do it too if you were smart. Do you know what's a waste of money? This absolute ginormous waste of money. Maybe I'll put my punching bag in the kids room for now. <laughs> the house is so ugly. How can I make it better? <laughs> I almost just bulldozed the whole lot. Whew, that was a close one. I was trying to get rid of the terrain paint and I almost bulldozed everything. I would have been very upset if I did that. You know what? We're making some small updates and it's looking good. I kind of like how it's turning out. Like, I think the house is kind of cute. I like sort of like how this window looks next to this. All right, I should stop spending money though. Oh, I was gonna take a pregnancy test. Oh my God. Hello? Forgot we had that like neighborhood brawl thing on. Oh my God. The, that neighborhood action plan, the rough housing one or something. Not good. Ah, that's not good either. <laughs> oh no. Do you know what? I knew we'd have a kid soon anyway. <laughs> That's why I started getting a second bedroom. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. Like I signed up for this essentially. It is still very scary to know the truth because deep down, I know this is a terrible, terrible plan. Well, <laughs> that's good. That's our next gen air. Maybe we should just have one kid. Maybe this can be our one kid. Watch it be triplets now that I've said that. Ew, is he farting next to me? He walks into my house, grabs my books, starts farting near me, and then leaves them on the floor and runs away. Like what, <sighs> hello? Oh. He got me a special gift. Is it because I'm pregnant? Hello. Oh, it's baby gift. Can't wait until we tell him that we're pregnant and then he runs away. I wouldn't blame him. What is it? 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 Faux meat cube? Faux meat cube? You come here with a faux meat cube? Oh, I should share the big news. Hang on. I should tell him we're pregnant. Surprise! You hate babies! What it, do you think he would like say no if we tried to propose to him? He's feeling flirty. She's feeling happy. I really don't trust him to not like throw the ring back at me in my face, but you know what? I'm pregnant. Maybe we could get married. We could move in together. Not yet, because I don't have enough beds for you. But just maybe we could, you know, start something, start building our lives together. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, he did say yes. Oh, I really didn't think that he would. Oh, that's magical. Okay. Well, maybe he's not so bad. Maybe we could be in love. Oh, wait, I'm excited. 
Oh, I didn't think he'd want to get married to me. Maybe I just I just sold my faux meat cube. I sold the one gift he ever gave me. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that worked out. Again, in like true legacy style fashion. We, <laughs> we, we're getting engaged real quick. That's okay. She really needs to read something for her aspiration. I'd like to finish this part of the aspiration. So we don't need to talk to him anymore. We Oh, hey, they're reading together. See, that's sweet. Well, now we got a bedroom for the kid. That's nice. Maybe I'll swap it so that the kid's bedroom is this one and ours is this one. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to work on the handiness skill. Should we pick a new aspiration? <laughs> no, I'll just leave it. We'll work on the handiness skill eventually. Anyway, I was going to say we might switch the bedroom so that our bedroom is this one on the right side because I feel like there's more room to expand it maybe a little bit bigger so we could fit a double bed more easily. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If I had picked a different style of house, we'd have so much more money by now. Don't place in the world. I was trying to breed the frog and I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Anyway, if I had picked a more cheap house style, this wouldn't be happening and we'd have so much money, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Repair or upgrade an object. I don't have any upgrade parts and I'm too uncomfortable to do it anyway. Oh no. Can I buy a bathtub yet? Does the bathtub even fit in here? I'm not sure if it's even functional. Oh, there we go. That way works. Oh, perfect. We don't need a sink in there. As long as we can now bathe the Sims, like we can bathe the baby and stuff and she'll be happy taking baths. That works. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> She's doing well. I'm so impressed. Honestly, all things considered, like we're, we're off to a good start. Oh, until you get bills delivered. <laughs> okay, never mind. 188? I literally can't afford- Oh my god, that's fine. We'll be able to afford it soon. Oh wait, now I can afford it now if I sell my frog. Oh no, I can't. I only have 183. Okay, never mind. Well, hopefully she'll do well at work today and then we can pay our bills. Oh god. I feel like her and Dylan should have a long engagement. I don't think we should worry about getting married anytime soon. Like, we don't exactly have the money to spend on a wedding. <laughs> We do have a couple friends to invite at least. Like we could bring Bob Pancakes and Miriam, my two only friends. She did well at work and we can afford our bills. Honestly, like we're doing pretty good. This could be going a lot worse. <laughs> oh, look who it is. I'm actually busy. Sorry, Dylan. Love you. Shoo. Oh, he's doing push-ups. What is she doing? She just peed in the bush? Why didn't you pee in your bathroom? You've got a toilet right there. Oh, my Sims are not the brightest. That's okay. Make use of the bush. I should sell the bush. Can we sell the bush and buy some real landscaping? Oh, that was an expensive bush. Do you know what? I'm not opposed to using debug cheats to landscape. If I want a nice house, I want a nice house. Like, you can't stop me. See, that was free. <laughs> Look how much better my house looks now. I won't spend any money on anything else, like, on the outside. I think it's not very smart for us to waste money on exterior upgrades when we have to, like, furnish a kid's room soon. But I'll, I'll wait to do that until we actually have a kid anyway. I feel a lot better. I mean, the house is coming along. It's kind of sad. You look at our neighbors and then you look at us. Hi, hi, land grab family. Do you like your new neighbors? I might have her make some fruit salad for breakfast too. We've only ever cooked something once. <laughs> Maybe we can work on cooking some more. How did we make it this far only ever cooking one meal? <laughs> this is the third episode. I just bought a couple upgrade parts. Can I upgrade anything on the sink yet? Three eco upgrade parts, level four, level two handiness. How do I need, nothing's broken so I can't repair anything. I guess it says we need to use the woodworking table. Oh, 750 simoleons, I do not not think so. <laughs> oh, yikes. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe I'll put one at the park. <laughs> we could just use a woodworking table at the park. I'm not made of money. You know what? There might even be one. Oh, there's not. I feel like that's totally reasonable though for there to be like a, I mean, look, we'll stick a woodworking table right here. We will craft ourselves a knife block. What else do we have to do for this aspiration? Level five handiness skill, upgrade a rocket five times. Oh God, <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy a rocket soon. I don't even have money for my kid. All right, well, that went over well. You know what we should buy is the gym rat one so that we'll build fun and won't lose hygiene while exercising. We're gonna have to exercise a lot. If we're gonna be an astronaut, we should get the gym rat promotion perk, perk, the gym rat perk. Can I sell that? Oh, we made a profit on it. That works. I made five simoleons off of it. Oh, she has to go to work. Oh, I'm stupid. I wasted money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll go to work then. Uh oh, I didn't read it. What did I do? I don't even. And now I'm in my third trimester and she's tense. Oh no. But I want her to get promoted so bad. I think she will. Okay, this is good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. We got a portable galaxy light show too. That's money. 350. Oh, that's a lot of money. And we've got kind of better hours now, eight to five instead of like two to 10. We're halfway through the career. Not to brag, but 
I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves. All right, folks, I'm sorry. I'm going to expand the house another time. I know I <laughs> keep doing this, but like I said, I, uh, I think we need to make sure we can at least have a fully functional bedroom. I think this is somewhat important. So I will invest in a bed, maybe even a nice one. Do you know what? It's a lot of money. We have this bed still that I don't even need, but that's okay. But yeah, again, the bed is a lot of money. Like I'll admit that, but do you know what? We need the bed. Like this is a necessary expense. And I think I'll be really glad that I bought it in the future. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. We'll, we'll spend our money on the bed. We can like upgrade the kids room. I don't, I know the rooms are kind of non-existent. Do you know what? If you don't leave me alone, Miss Vampire, I will not be pleased with you. Oh, we've got work at 8 a.m., don't we? Well, can you not use the toilet? How come we can't get to the toilet anymore? The plant is blocking? What, you can't even get into the room? Hello? Can you come into the room now? How come she can't come in? I guess because of the, because of this? I'll put it outside again, I don't care. <laughs> that's so weird. They're okay, I, I broke it with my punching bag, but that's fine, I fixed it. Oh, I didn't fix the, the roof, did I? <laughs> Hang on, sorry guys, sorry, fixed it. My bad, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, is this still a tiny house? 68 tiles now, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's okay. We don't need to be a tiny house anymore. We can be a regular house. <laughs> I, we've, we've, um, the tiny house thing has run its course, it's fine. She gives birth any second, by the way. We're in our third trimester now, which is so scary. We still don't have any money, like, we can, we can barely afford anything for the baby, but I guess we don't need anything for the baby when it's a baby. So we should be fine. Am I still gonna go to work today? Oh, I'm, st I'm still going in today. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> the grind never stops. We might be about to give birth, but it's not my problem. I'm trying to get promoted as fast as possible. I need money. Oh, 864, still not in labor. Now I'm scared. <laughs> I like feel genuine. No oh my God, there we go. Now she's in labor. We should probably have her go to the hospital, right? Send alone. Oh, what am I gonna name it? It's a girl. Okay, wait, what if we called it Belle? Belle, Belle. <laughs> That's super lame. What if, I don't know, Lacey, Noelle, Randy, Selena, Shayla. Shayla's too close to Kayla, can't do that. Reese? I like the name Reese, but Belle Belle kind of intrigues me. I, I think I'm gonna name it Belle Belle. <laughs> we could probably get a cat soon too. Thank God it wasn't twins. Okay, we have a baby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How long are babies babies on the short lifespan? This is an honest and genuine question and an honest and genuine concern that I have. Cause like, we're doomed. Okay, baby's fine, I took care of it. It's asleep and everything. Should I get my boyfriend to move in? Who are you? Tina, leave me alone. Master Tinker, Tina Tinker. Yeah, I feel like I maybe should get Dylan to move in with me. I mean, we could use help with the baby and then he could help us earn some extra money around the house. That would be nice. I mean, they are a couple who is engaged, who just had a baby together. So, it, I mean, it only makes sense that they would then, you know, move in together. Dylan Lemons, don't want to elope immediately with you. I don't want to get married yet. <laughs> I wanna have a real wedding when we do get married. Oh, move in together? Oh, I don't want his money though. Okay, so I have 1732. Remind me to, to put that back, cause I don't want, ah, why do we have so much money? 1732. Well, maybe he could bring me like a couple thousand simoleons. That's the thing, I don't wanna have 35K. Like, that's way, way too easy. <laughs> I, might, I might have him go meet the baby really fast. Oh, and then we should get a career. Do you know what? The poor guy, he hates living in Oasis Springs. He wants to live in the city. Oh, he's about to be an elder in two days? Oh no, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay, well, he hates children. He hates his life here. He's non-committal. Maybe we should get married sooner. I didn't realize how old he was getting. Playing on a short lifespan is scary. Oh wait, the toilet's finally broken. We can fix it for our, for our aspiration. Oh good. All right, we might be a single mom, but for reasons other than the ones that I expected. Because <laughs> our husband's gonna die. Imagine I like woohoo him to death by accident or something. This is not good. This is not good at all. I didn't realize that he was an adult and not a young adult. Well, <laughs> Next part, turns out we got some work to do. Oh yes, you wake up, you have baby duty. Bottle feed, rock, make a silly face, come on, there you go. That's what we need. See, this is the kind of man I need. You are a stand-up guy. You might hate kids, but you are being a real big help. Mop the puddle too. Finally, some help around here. I really thought he was gonna turn out to be a bad person. It's almost his birthday, oh no. I thought he was gonna be a terrible husband, but maybe I was wrong about him. Never judge a book by its literal traits. <laughs> All right, I think on that note, I am going to end the part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did record three in a row today, so I haven't seen your comments yet. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you don't hate Belle's name. <laughs> it's almost Belle's birthday too. Oh my God, short lifespan is so scary. Yeah, I, I really gotta go. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>
Should we have another kid? I don't think we should. If Mr. Lemons is really gonna die kind of soon, and he will die kind of soon, we're playing on short lifespan. I don't think we should have another kid because then he's not gonna be around for very long and I would feel bad about that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think we should do.